Welcome back. I thought I would make a tutorial on Space Invaders. I built uh, maybe four of them. Steps one, two, three, four. Kind of muffed my way through it. <coughs> Excuse me. I've since uh, recreated, and this is the final product. If you'd like to see it being played, here you go. Not too many instructions and, and pretty plain Jane. You can fill all these picture boxes with animated GIFs. Uh, you could figure that out. It's not hard. I built some shields down here, uh, some player lives. You can fill these picture boxes with guns. Again, it's not that hard. This is their score. Again, pretty ugly, but you guys can customize it. And then their bullets are down here. Um, so when you play, let's see, I think I use the letters N and M to move. I put a little bit of a drift on it, and I've also made it so that you can shoot and move at the same time, which is kind of nice. So again, N and M to move, and uh, you can shoot. And then you gotta remember to reload. I made the game so that if you run out of bullets, you lose. So as you can see, I got three bullets left. So I'm just gonna hit the letter R, and my bullets will reload. Uh, so if I, at each new uh, level, there is, um, more bad guys that come on at the top. <coughs> Oops. And I ran out of bullets. Darn it. Guess I should know how to play my own game. Uh, but I wanted to show you what happens when you pass the level. So I'm going to try again here and maybe try to focus on playing the game. Um, notice when you hit reload, it doesn't reload the bullets that are currently traveling. Uh, kind of sucks. Can I get out of here? Whoop. Um, I did that just because I found the game was really bogging down after about five or six levels because I never really removed the bullets from the form. So I thought this is the easiest way to do it. You just have the player reload. Almost done. Alright, so there's winner, the bullets come back. The shields don't rebuild, but one more row showed up here, and one more row showed up here. Okay, and then, then uh, same deal, how do you start? I think you press this. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to sit here and rifle down some bullets. Oh, and I lose. Okay, I ran out of bullets again. But if you take a look here, so here's my, uh, my code, how I've got it organized. Uh, player mover 20, nah, I think that's the speed of the player, so you could customize that. And then uh, game field, so that's the, the field of the players uh, for random numbers here and how many shots the player has taken. I guess I can move those and organize it like I did everything else. My form events, I've got to inform load. Let's see. We, uh, we call all my subs. So I make the alien, I make the square. I make the shields, I place lives, that's the bottom left corner, I duplicate the aliens, um, so I guess I make 32 aliens off the hop, uh, then I place those aliens, uh, so that's probably why it's been shaded out here, I'm just going to take that out, and then uh, then it looks like I make 30 bullets, okay, so that's all in the form load, and the key press, this controls my player, so I use ASCII values, okay, so I asked for the ASCII of key char. 110, this looks like it moves the player to the right. This moves the player to the left. Um, this shoots, 32 is the spacebar. And if they have 30 sh shots, we lose, so you can call lose. Um, every time they shoot, you can call this sub, which shoots the bullet. Which bullet? you got to pass it which shot. And then you increment shots. So every time this is clicked, the shot goes up by one. 114 is the letter R, so it reloads. Okay. Next, buttons on the form. So we've got the start button. Um, we hide that button once they click on it. We start the game, which is the game timer. And we start the timer that moves the alien, and then we pass the focus to the form, which is key, so that the uh, all the key press events uh, will work. Next one, uh, winner, that's if they win. This shows up and we want it to hide as soon as they click on it. 
and then we, again we want to move it and then uh, start the timer and pass the focus back to the form same deal over here if they lose we call the label that says lose and then we call restart right here and now we'll minor hide that timers that move the player so we got oh this is what creates my drift okay so we got the the one that drift uh, to the right so the player mover dot right as long as it's uh, greater than the game field dot right uh, if they do this essentially this goes out of bounds so if they go out of bounds to the right we set it back or sorry to the left set it to zero and uh, well then we just replace the player over to the left a little bit so again this if statement is solely if they go out of bounds player mover minus equals one so this is going to move our player um, then the player the actual player here is going to plus minus this player mover so it's going to go the five four three two one and um, we slow the timer down which gives it the drift so if the player mover is bigger than one uh, the drift or the the timer is equal to 100 and then once it gets down then we just stop it okay all right let me subtract that here's the same deal except left so minus equals one this is to make sure he doesn't go out of bounds on the outside of the, the game and then player move dot left as you can see the same deal this gives the player the drift so I don't I didn't explain that very well it's been a while since I coded this and I forgot really but anyways you can see the picture okay my subs let's take a look there's lots here oops wrong button all right so I'm just gonna scroll down so the first one is we make the, the square <coughs> sorry this is the game field so just make that game field right here all right gives us all the the width statement gives all the dimensions of the field and then this changes the level what do we got in here so we check for win okay that's to see if the aliens killed is equal to the total amount of aliens if that's the case then essentially we uh, quit the game lose looks like this um, so we call some labels stop all the timers uh, clear the bullets. I can't remember why. We to, oh, the bullets are on the form. Um, essentially, we we had to do this at the end of the level. We just reload it for the player. And clear the danger. Danger is my code word for uh, with the enemy shoot. So it's the enemy's bullets. Uh, change the level. So we add a column. We add a row. We duplicate some aliens here, and then we uh, we pass it how many we want per row. How many we want per column, and then how many total aliens there are. Um, you can ignore this line right here. This is just to help me. And then we place those aliens, and then we set aliens killed to zero. Remember, because it's a new level. And then total aliens. We got to keep track of how many there are on the board, so we know when the level is over. And it's the number in each row times the number in each column. All right, our shields. So we, <laughs> I asked for a thousand picture boxes. That's probably a lot. Keep track of how many shields we've had. Okay, right, this makes the shields. So number of shields is equal to one. And we go ahead and draw these on the form. Shield essentially is a six by twenty picture box. It's green, and I put them side by side. Okay. So I, I create them and then I place them. And notice I call place. No, I don't call place. I call this all in the form load. And this places my shields. So pretty much I say, all right, for X and Y, um, we're placing, uh, excuse me, we're placing the shields. So I'm just taking, it's been a while since I've looked at this code. I guess X and Y is just setting its dot left and dot top location, just like on a Cartesian plane. This is the distance the shields are apart. So there's the shields, the bullets. What do we got for bullets? All right, so we asked for 100 bullets. 
Same deal. So here's my reload function. So this reloads the bullets, essentially draws them all down to the bottom. Here's our shoot. Um, this moves any bullet on the form upwards. And this makes the bullet. So just a create bullet thing. I'm going to give it the form, uh, sorry, the controls. And we can move the bullets here. This timer simply move, moves the bullet. Sorry, what does shoot bullet do? I got to look. This takes the bullet essentially. <coughs> this, excuse me. Essentially, just takes the bullet from the bottom right and places it to where the gun is. So, wherever the gun is, and then we start moving it. That's all. Um, so, yeah, there's move bullet. Clo collapse that. Here's my aliens. Same deal. A whole bunch of variables just for aliens. Uh, I tried to make it customizable, which is why there seems to be so much. But anyways, 500 aliens. Uh, this keeps track of how many we've made. Um, the lowest alien, I don't think I need this anymore. It's just for practice and testing purposes. Um, DM number of aliens in a row. So again, customizable. So how many are in a row? How many are in a column? Uh, how many aliens there are? Okay, so you could put a uh, picture box. Uh, you could put animated GIFs in there. How fast they're moving. Um, how many of the, the players killed? And, whoops. and then uh, what's the total aliens? Total aliens, I guess, is the number of aliens in a row times the column. So that way, if you move any of these, this gets adjusted accordingly. Okay, duplicate aliens. What does this guy do? Okay, so you just pass to this sub how many you want to make. And you're going to go from that, and you're just going to make that many aliens. Make alien. Let's take a look. Oh, these are the alien types. Okay. So, uh, let me look for a second. Uh, make alien type. Alien at zero. Okay, so alien type is an array. Looks like there's four in the array. And I just give it different colors. So I just go red, blue, yellow, white, purple. Okay, and, and all this array is, is just, I'm using it to reference later when I actually make the alien. So if you wanted to use animated GIFs, you would place them, instead of saying back color dot red, you could just say dot image equals, you could load the image from your resource, and you could fill this make alien, you can fill this array alien type with your animated GIFs. Then when you go to make your alien right here, I say back color is equal to, um, hmm. Give me a second. Right here, sorry. Ignore that make. So when you place the alien, pardon me. So uh, we're placing uh, some aliens here per column, per row. And then this is where we give uh, the back color a color from the alien type. So Y again is the column. So every time the column goes up, we give it uh, a different color. Okay, and then if you had this as dot back or dot image, you could fill your aliens with uh, animated GIFs. Okay. Anyways, let me go back to make alien. What does make alien do? It's a uh, picture box, color green. So literally, it just makes the alien. Okay. It doesn't place it anywhere. It just puts it. Just creates it. And then we call place alien, and it will, um, you know, okay, so Y and X are here to keep track of where they are on the form, and so there's the, the dot left, and the dot Y customizable if we want to change these numbers, and then the dot back color we, we grab from the array alien type, of course we have to show it, and then we increment Y, we're just keeping Y to, um, oh, because that's right here. Okay, that's what we need. I sorry. Uh, move the aliens. I've touched this in some several other tutorials. So if you want to see the the logic behind it all, you could take a look there. So this will move the aliens. I'll just slide over. Essentially saying if the alien is visible, meaning he hasn't been shot, and he's inside the game field, 
once he hits the edge of the game field, all of them, f from zero to the number of them, bump them down, which is plus 30. And then kind of restart everything. Uh, speed of alien is kind of the direction it's moving. So if it's positive, it's moving to the right. If it's negative, it's moving to the left. So when they reach the edge, we got to times it by a negative one, which will flip the direction the alien is moving. Right, and it's moved right here. Speed of alien, negative. So if this is negative, 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 it actually moves it to the right. Um, okay, so that's all the alien stuff. Pretty crazy, I know. Going through this rather fast. Now let's do the danger. So this is the alien shooting bad guys. So you got, again, you got to make it right here. Um, so you could take a look at. Again, my code is very similar for you know make the danger, make the shields, make the aliens. Um, been a while since I typed this up. Um, move the danger. So this will essentially drop it, the the purple gun down. Once it gets to the bottom, it looks like I remove it from the form. Uh, what's this guy do? Oh, and this is the timer that moves the danger downwards. And then uh, check that. This is a timer that um, every 20, this is what this is doing, every mod 20, uh, the bad guy shoots. So this keeps track of when the bad guy shoots. I should have named that properly. Time tick doesn't make sense. This is the timer that moves the danger downwards. And lives, real quick, it's just those lives at the bottom. Just uh, an array of 10 lives. I don't think I use all 10. Okay, we create the picture box, nice lime green. And then we place it down at the bottom of the form. This is just the location of it. So that just, all that does is again, put the lives on the bottom down here. Oops, give me a second. So underneath this red bar, there'll be some boxes here. And when they die, the those disappear okay uh, collision so danger in the shield so that's when the bad guys shoot if it collides with the shield so we go from we check the all the danger and all the shields so essentially we've got a ray inside I'm sorry a for loop inside of a for loop because we're checking all the bad guy shots against all the picture boxes of the shields and essentially if both are visible and they collide Okay, if those are conditions are true, then remove them from the form and then hide them. And then what is this one? If the danger intersects with the player. Okay, so if it hits the player, then we want to remove the danger, hide the danger, and then num of lives dot hide. So we take away one of their lives. If their number of lives is zero, then the game is over. So this is if the bad guys shoot us. Alright, what else have we got? Bullets and stuff. So this is if the bullet collides with um, an alien. So if any bullet hits any alien, uh, that's what this... Well, I guess I should move this over. If those are true, then hide the bullet, hide the alien. Keep track of how many aliens have been killed. And then we got to see if we won the game. And then we check if our bullets hit our own shields. Okay, there's not much we have to do, so if, if they do hit it, we just remove the shield, hide the bullet, hide the shield. And then we got to check if the bullets hit. I made it so that if you shoot the bad guy's danger, it will uh, make it, everything, dis the bullet disappear and the danger disappear. The only thing I didn't put in here, and again my students noticed this right away, is that I don't have any collision between the alien and the player. So that's one thing I forgot to do. So that means the game never really ends. If the aliens work their way downwards, all the way to the green box here, the game doesn't end, which uh, kind of sucks. But um, yeah, I know that was really fast. But I think I screenshot all my code. So if you slow it down and pause it, um, take a look, see if you can figure it out. Uh, good luck. I'm just going to collapse these. And I uh, hope you could figure it out.